fellow ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get all of this hair into a wig. Um, the wig I'm using today, I actually got, where did I get this? I bought this at my very first um, convention. I had never been to a convention before and I went to Emerald City, Emerald City Comic Con and I got this wig while I was there. Um, I originally got it just to have it for any future, future like makeup costumes or anything like that. But I actually ended up using it for a show, so it's not in the best condition right now. But I've got that wig. Um, so other things that you're going to want to need before we get started with this video. Gather all your stuff together. A brush, obviously. Um, I'm using a clip. This is just going to help hold some of my hair out of the way. Um, bobby pins. This is what I keep all my bobby pins in. Um, and there's a white flower in there. Um, but make sure you have your bobby pins available. And then um, little elastics. I keep my elastics in this little pouch. That looks long line out. Um, you'll want those as well. So if you guys want to learn how to get your hair up into a wig with the technique that I use, go ahead and please keep watching. So starting off, we're going to separate our hair. Um, you essentially want two parts. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see this. So I'm just taking, my hair is not clean by the way. I made sure not to shower just because it's a lot easier for me to put my hair up in a wig when it's like second and third day hair. So it's really greasy and gross right now, I apologize. But if you take, you start like a little bit, maybe an inch back from the um, hairline, and you just do a circle around, and you just part your hair so that you've got a ponytail, just like this. You want the ponytail with a circle up here in the middle, and then a ring up here around the outside. Now this is putting two techniques together of how to put your hair up in a way. Um, you can definitely choose one or the other if you like, but this is just how I do it because it makes it easier. Since I mostly just wear wigs when I'm in a show, this helps keep my hair up um, and keep the wig on my head. So I'm just twisting my hair up, making sure it's in the center, and I'm just going to clip this middle part to my head to keep that hair nice and out of the way. So we're going to move on to this section of hair. I'm going to make sure that the part is even right in the center. My hair is so disgusting right now. And then in the back, I'm just going to part it again. So I have two separate things. Now this next part is going to be French braiding. If you are not uh, comfortable with French braiding, that's totally fine. You can just do normal braids and then pin other things later. Um, but I do French braids just because it's it makes it easier um, to hold things in place. So just brushing through my hair to make sure that there's no tangles because my hair likes to do that. And make sure everything's good. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start on this side, which means I'm gonna go ahead and run a ponytail through this side of my hair. Okay, so starting on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and take a small section uh, <clears throat> of the top, and I'm just gonna start French braiding this all the way back around the head. Whatever, I don't have a mirror right now. So I'm pretty much just doing this all by feels, and I apologize if it ends up turning out like crap, but honestly, this is going underneath the wig, so it doesn't really matter if it's pretty. And you just add hair. If you guys don't know how to French braid hair, um, I know that there are a ton of tutorials here on YouTube on how to do it. If you have or would like to see a tutorial from me, just let me know and I will make one in the future for you guys to learn how to French braid. As you can see, the French braid is definitely not perfect, but like I said, this is just to go underneath the wig and to help have a place for the body pins to secure it. So I'm just going to do this all the way around and then I will be back for the other braid and then uh, we will continue on with the rest of it. Okay. So I've done the French braid all the way around to the very nape of my neck, and now I'm just going to do regular braid all the way down. It's hot in my house. Then again, that tape is really not feeling good. Okay, so now that I've reached the end of my braid, I'm just going to take a little elastic. This is one of those um, tiny ones. I'm just going to bring that 
on the bottom so that it stays in place. And you do want this one to be nice and tight and secure to make sure that the braid doesn't come undone while you're uh, maneuvering it and putting where it needs to go and then putting it on the place of the weight. So, and now I'm just going to do the inside. Okay, so once you have your two braids completed, you're going to continue circling them. Sorry, excuse me. Um, you're going to continue circling them around your head like so. I'm going to turn around. Make sure that you've got your bobby pins accessible. So you're essentially just going to wrap this around the other side. Now my hair is really long, so it literally goes all the way across. But once you get that wrapped around, you're going to take your bobby pin and you're going to slide it in. I make sure to pin it sideways into just this ring that I've used up here that's out right now because if I pin it into this right here, it's going to make it really difficult for later. And then the other side as well. Alrighty. So now we've got a ring of braid around our head and it probably looks absolutely insane. I don't have a mirror, so I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this hair down. Just like so. And here comes the part that can take a really long time. Make sure your hair is pushed out. Still, there is no wrinkles. Mine likes to continuously tangle itself. So. All right, so this is the part where you need bobby pins. Just make sure you've got a crap ton of bobby pins available to you. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start at the top of my head, and we're gonna be making pin curls. So just grab a section of hair, and separate it from the rest. Make sure that the rest is completely isolated from this one particular piece of hair. I always brush through the section to make sure there's no tangles, simply because if you leave the tangles in, when you take it out later, it's a pain in the butt. So, I literally take two fingers, and I wrap the hair around those two fingers like so. Then I literally just slide the hair off and place it against my head, kind of rolling it in and making it sure it is as far against my head as I can possibly get it. Take a bobby pin. You're going to want at least two, if not three, depending on how stubborn your hair is being. Mine is always stubborn, so I'm just going to take one bobby pin and place it, and then you take the other bobby pin and you crisscross it. This is what's going to ensure the stability and strength of the pin curl, like that. I'm gonna show you one more time. Grab a section, I'll pull. It's hard doing this one here. Make sure it's separated. One thing, doing putting my hair up in wind always is exhausting because my arms get tight. Two fingers, wrap the hair around, and then slide off and place as close to your scalp as possible. And then two body pins, crisscross. not going for pretty here, we're just going for out of the, the way. Just like that, you're going to repeat this step all over your head. So I've got all of my hair up in these pin curls that's literally all over my head. So at this point, what you would do is you would take your wig cap, which is something that you can get at any wig store or on Amazon, just look it up on Google, um, and you would place it over the top. It's essentially like fish netting, but super small, and it's like literally a cap for your head. And you would place this all over, covering all the hair. This is just going to ensure that the hair stays nice and tucked in where it's supposed to be. I'm not going to do that today simply because I'm not wearing this wig more than the time that it's going to take for me to put it on in this video. So um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave my hair as is. Um, I went ahead and grabbed my mirror just because 
putting the wig on without it is going to be quite the challenge. So uh, that's what's sitting on my lap right now. Um, yeah, so pretty much just grab your wig. Now, like I said, I have actually ended up using this show for or this wig for some shows, so it's not as pretty as it was. It was definitely much curlier and put together, but this is what it is. Um, and yeah, so if you look on the inside of your wig, there should be this little thing down here. It's like a flap that obviously is for the back of your head. So make sure that you go directly across from it, and that is the front. I'm going to place two fingers, my thumbs, on the inside of the wig. This is going to guide me for where the front is. Place it on the back. I'm going to place the front of the wig right on my hairline, and then I just slide my fingers around the edge of the wig. And I'm just going to pull it down around the rest of my hair. Bear with me, this looks absolutely insane right now. So literally, just place it on just like that. Now we're not done, because at this point, your wig can come off, and that's not fun. Um, I'm going to end up styling this while I have it on, because it's just going to drive me nuts. But grab your bobby pins. Like I said, you need a zillion of these. Now I don't need to worry about it for the front, because I have bangs on this particular wig. But on the sides, you can see my hair. So this is a technique that I learned while using wigs in theater. I just kind of self-taught, figured it out. I'm grabbing the flap that's right here and a bobby pin. I'm pulling it down as tight as I can to where my hair is completely covered. I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna slide it in to that flap with, I'm gonna grab some of the wig hair and I'm gonna pin it down. That's going to aid to hide my hair, but it's also gonna make it look like the wig hair is actually growing from my head. So I'm gonna show you again, same flap. Pin it down, pull it as tight as I can. And this time I'm actually going a little further in. I'm not going on the edge of the wig cap. I'm going a little further in where the holes begin on the wig and I'm sliding that bobby pin in. Just like that. Do that for the other side. For this side, I make sure, like after I've already pinned this side, I tug down this way instead of just tugging forward to make sure that the top is nice and tight and secure. Now you're going to repeat this all around the nape of the neck. I'm not going to today simply because, like I said, I'm not going to be wearing this much longer. Um, but then after you do that, if your wig is fine looking, you can keep it that way. But since mine it needs a little bit of assistance, I'm going to go ahead and pin some things here and there. I'm going to pin this back. Once you do that and you've styled it the way that you want, obviously it's much easier to style when um, it's fresh and it hasn't been styled before. Mine is just, I think it's done. Um, but once you do that, your wig is on and you guys are completely finished with applying your wig. So yeah guys, that is it. I made this video specifically for my cousin Jordan because uh, she has a wedding that she is in and forgot about and she dyed her hair. It's a mess. I'm pretty sure she's going to be uploading a video about dyeing her hair soon. So I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below if you want to go check my cousin out. She's hysterical. She's funny. Her channel's called Wishlist for Life and what she did was instead of making a New Year's resolution, she actually made a list, a to-do list essentially of everything that she wanted to get done this year. So uh, she's completing that one by one and sharing it all with you guys. So like I said, I'm going to link that down below. Go check her out. She's amazing and hysterical and she cracks me up. She cannot wait to save her life. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this. Jordan, I hope this helped you out um, for your wig adventure coming up for the wedding. Um, and I think that's it. So until next time, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay kind. Bye, guys.